uh, we'll go back to editing code and we'll do we'll make one more method in, that uses a function. Um, we want the penguin to hug the teen, and we want to do it so he actually approaches the teen um, the correct distance and then does the hug, so he doesn't go through the teen or anything like that. And there are functions to help us do that. So the first thing we want to do is so we want the penguin to move forward is the first thing we need to do. So we're going to move in a penguin, move forward. And we'll make him move forward one mirror by default for now. Um, then we'll go to the penguin's functions. And if we go down to the penguin's other functions down here, we can drag in um, the penguin get distance to. This um, function returns the distance to any other object in the world. And we can get his distance, the penguin's distance to the teen person. And let's click on the whole teen person. So now this penguin moved forward um, the penguin's distance to the teen person. So if we play the world now, the penguin moves up a little too close to the person. He's actually completely inside him. So we want to um, somehow adjust this function so the penguin doesn't crash into the person. Um, and the easiest way to do this is by using um, a math operator. So in order to do this, if you click on this arrow, the arrow that encompasses this entire function, we can add math. And we can um, we want to subtract a value, subtract a little bit of distance. So um, you want to use one of these blocks. You want to use the minus. So it's going to be the penguin's distance to the team person minus question mark. And that question mark is going to be 0.5. So the distance to the person minus 0.5 meters should be an, um, enough to get the penguin at the right distance. So if we run the world now. OK, that's pretty much perfect. Um, and now we want the penguin. We want the penguin to give the team a hug. So what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, we're simply going to make the penguin's wings turn backwards. So he his arms encompass the guy. Uh, so we're going to actually need to access the penguin's sub body parts. So if you go to this dot penguin in the in the um, object menu and go to the penguin's uh, body menu, we can find all of his sub body parts. And the body parts we're, we're interested in are the left wing shoulder and the right wing shoulder. So we'll start with the left wing shoulder first. We're going to drag in a do together after I hit the move forward. And we're going to make the left wing shoulder, we're going to make it turn right 0.25 revolutions. And then we're going to make his right shoulder turn left 0.25 revolutions. So we have to go back into his body parts, get the right wing shoulder and make that turn left 0.25 revolutions. And now if you run the world, it should work fine. Yeah. Uh, well, there you go. That's um, how you use functions and if else statements in Alice 3. Um, it's pretty similar to Alice 2. A couple of differences is that um, when you use comparisons, you have to make sure you pick the right comparison operator. So if you're going to compare it to two decimal values, you need to pick the um, decimal value, uh, the relational decimal number. If you're going to uh, compare whole numbers, use the whole number. If you're going to compare um, objects or things together, you need to use the thing compar um, comparison. And there's also a special comparison for um, strings. And that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching.